Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to talk a little bit about uh, hair porosity. I did some research about hair porosity and I realized I've never actually tested my own hair. Because you know hair porosity is very important. It determines um, a lot. It determines what kind of products you use. It determines how your regimen goes, you know, like the things, the steps you take and whatnot. Hair porosity is basically how well your hair takes in moisture, generally. There's three types of hair porosity. There's a low, hair, low porosity, medium or normal porosity, and then there's high porosity. When we say you have low porosity hair, it basically means your hair is less likely to take in moisture. And the reason behind this is because your cuticles are more like a gate if that makes sense so <laughs> they're more like a gate into your hair you understand your gates are closed <laughs> yeah so your that means your cuticles lay flat on your hair strand that's why it's very difficult for your hair to take in moisture so that's what basically that's what low porosity hair means or looks like your hair does seem a lot more shiny it has a lot of shine to it because your cuticles are laying flat so they reflect off a lot of light sunlight whatever kind of light so your hair seems shinier when we say you have high porosity hair on the other case it means your gates are open meaning your hair can easily take in moisture so that means your cuticles are not laying flat rather they're raised off your uh, hair shaft so it's, it's very easy for moisture to get in now the thing the thing with high porosity hair since it's very easy for moisture to get in because your gates are open it means it's also very easy for moisture to get out so it's very easy to get dry hair your hair is less smooth so in effect your hair looks frizzy now when it comes to medium or normal you're a bit of both your cuticles are kind of open kind of closed so in most cases you're safe because your hair takes in moisture it takes it leaves it loses moisture but not as much as high porosity hair how do you actually get like high porosity hair or low porosity hair what happens what changes so the thing with high porosity hair that's when your cuticles are raised you may get to this point because of using heat like heat styling your hair like blow drying and flat ironing because your hair expands so your cuticle opens so the more you use heat on your hair the more likely you may change you may get high porosity hair then another thing is constant manipulation. You're always in your hair combing and doing whatnot. So it means you're disturbing the hair strands. So the, the <laughs> cuticles also get raised. As for low porosity, I don't know. I think it just happens. You know, it, it just, I don't know. It's very easy for high porosity hair to take in moisture, like we said. But it's also very easy for it to lose moisture as well. So um, a few solutions to close your cuticles that may be open. First of all would be doing the final rinse in cold water with cold water. Cold water will contract your hair so your cuticles will close <coughs> close them so it will be more likely for your hair to retain moisture. Another thing for high porosity hair is using um, acidic products because acids have a low pH. Is it low pH or high pH? Yeah, low pH. They actually help to close your cuticles. That's why some people, you hear of some people using, as, uh, what is it, apple cider vinegar to uh, condition the hair or to rinse their hair out. So this also closes your cuticles and helps you retain moisture in the long run. If you have high porosity hair, it's best to seal your hair with um, heavier oils. Uh, yeah, because the light oils will just penetrate and they won't seal the moisture in essence. So you'll still lose moisture if, if anything. So if you have high porosity hair, of course, like we said, you may need to use heavier oils to help your hair retain moisture. So like castor oil or, okay, that's the only heavy oil I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about any other heavy oils, but if you do, please comment down below. To low porosity hair, like we said, it's difficult for you to, for your hair to take in moisture and you need your hair to take in moisture. So now the solutions or remedies for low porosity hair would be to you need extra effort to get in moisture into your hair so one of the things you need you may need to do is to use heat when you're deep conditioning that's when most most of the nutrients and the moisture is getting into your hair so you need all of that goodness to actually penetrate the heat will make your hair expand so your cuticles will open to let in moisture you may choose to use a steamer when you're deep conditioning or 
shower cap or a plastic bag and cover it on your hair when you're deep on your head when you're deep conditioning so this helps to trap uh, the body heat that's actually coming off your scalp so that heat remains in there and helps open up your hair cuticles so that the moisture can get in if you have low porosity hair it's best if you use light oils like coconut uh, olive I think and jojoba oils you know light, light oils when it comes to baking soda it's basic so it actually opens up your cuticle so maybe unless if you have low porosity hair then maybe you can use baking soda but I've never actually used baking soda as for medium or normal hair porosity really I think you're just doing fine <laughs> your hair is doing okay it's taking in moisture it's losing but not too much so it's okay there's not much that you need to do if you have medium to low porosity of course the next question would be how the hell do I find out what my hair porosity is so there's a couple of tests that are that exist <laughs> well, the first one is the slight test all you need to do is just take a strand of your hair of course your hair needs to be clean so that you know it shows you the true its true nature its true form all you need to do is take a strand of hair and just slide like take a strand of hair and just slide uh, your fingers up and down if you feel some sort of um, resistance or some bumps it means your cuticles are open so that's what you're feeling as you rub up and down so it means uh, your hair is is highly porous if your hair feels smooth as you go it means you like most likely have low porosity hair because your cuticles lay flat so you just have one smooth strand all through the other test is the water test so basically what you do is you take one strand of hair which is clean of course with no product so that you actually see if it's actually taking in moisture or not place it into some room temperature water and then leave it in there for like two or three minutes then come back and check where how it's doing so if your hair is at the top it's still floating somewhere at the top it means um, your hair has not actually taken in moisture to let it to make it heavy enough to sink so it means you have low porosity hair because your cuticles lay flat if you find your hair has sunk to the bottom of the water it means your hair uh, absorbed lots of water and got heavy enough to sink to the bottom so it means your hair you have high porosity hair and then of course if you have i'm sorry if you find that the hair strand is you know somewhere in the middle of the water it means you took in some water but not too much it means you have normal or medium hair porosity so you should be fine so guys it's been 10 minutes and my hair is still at the top there see it's still floating <laughs> so yeah as suspected my i do have low porosity hair so my hair is not taking in that moisture very easily